there we go. Okay, so, um, right, so, um, Mercury retrograding into Cancer. So what we do have with that uh, from a, a point of tarot, uh, that is when the, the Magician reversed, it kind of happens to be a, um, a catalyst to the Chariot card. So that pretty much may kind of lead to some, how can I say, that, that is from a tarot perspective, okay? And that may lead into some rather nefarious thoughts that we may have or rather like thinking for how we can accomplish things in the easiest way possible uh regardless of what that may cost to to those around us okay not not necessarily to us but to those around us so uh, that doesn't necessarily mean though that we are going to act upon those revelations if you will but you know it's um it's one more option available for us to move on forward and make accomplishments uh, throughout those almost a one month because uh, the mercury is going to be retrograde into cancer up until 12th of june of july i'm sorry up until 12th of july um all right so hello stephanie Right, so as per usual, uh, we're gonna have a three free readings conducted uh, throughout this uh, live stream and they're gonna happen in the breaks, okay? So every four star signs, I'm gonna have a break and a poll is going to be conducted. So you get to ask your questions throughout that poll. And uh, one question is going to be selected um, for each poll that is going to be conducted and that question will receive a professional reading okay that is not going to be a one card reading it's going to be a professional reading full spread four card spread you know or whatever spread it is more most suitable for the question and hopefully the recipient is going to have the answer they need so if you do want a free reading that is the way you get it Additionally to that, so if you do want to support me guys, the only thing you got to do is just share the live stream so it can reach a more people and give answers to as many people as possible. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's continue. So while I'm shuffling the tarot deck, by the way, I'm going to use again that gorgeous deck here, which is the Art Novio tarot deck. Okay. And while I'm shuffling, um, I want to remind you once again, not what you need, but still, um, that if you do want a personal reading, uh, you can check out my website. Uh, it's here in the post and there um, you're going to find all of my services, their pricing as well. And uh, based on your budget, uh, you can choose which service you want to go for. And uh, once you make your purchase, I'm going to come back to you within 24 hours, giving you details how your reading is going to take place. Another thing it is that next week, uh, Sunday next week, the uh, new Major Arcana Tarot classes are starting, okay? So if you do want to sign up for them, you can go to my um, website. Again, in the Tarot classes section, you can purchase uh, that class. It's a six weeks long tarot class. Uh, each week you do have a lecture that is with a duration of two hours and pretty much it's a 12 hours of content. And in those courses, I'm explaining you how to uh, read the major arcana in terms of career, in terms of relationship and into the dedicated spread, which is a major arcana of, um, friendly as well. Okay, So at the end of the class, you get to conduct your own personal readings with, uh, with the major arcana. And also the Minor Arcana class is starting at uh, Sunday, uh, not Sunday, but uh, Saturday, I'm sorry, 20th of June. So if you do want to go for the uh, Minor Arcana instead, uh, it's not up on the website, but you can give me a message, uh, you know, if you do desire to go for it. So that being said, uh, I have to first, however, turn on my air conditioner. Okay. There we go. So, with that being said, uh, let's start with a Gemini moving first, and that is going to be for uh, Mercury retrograde into uh, Cancer. Just give me a second. Yeah. So, Mercury um, 
retrograding in Cancer. Right, so the first one here for, for uh, Gemini, I'm sorry. So the first one for Gemini is going to be the Knight of Swords. Moving next, we do have the Ace of Swords. And uh, then that is to be the Page of Wands. So those, uh, those three cards. And as Mercury is about a verbal communications, you know, truth, revelations, and all these kind of stuff, um, a Gemini throughout those uh, three and a half weeks, if I may say it that way, with those three cards, it does look like that they are going to acquire quite so many new perceptions over the opportunities they are to be laid out. So uh, they have been laid out in front. So uh, what I'm trying to say it is that within, within the next three and a half weeks for you, Gemini, you know, things that are looked quite silly and irrelevant, say, you know, um, a bad options available in general are going to start looking more and more plausible and more and more beneficial for you to take. So don't be surprised. My point here is that don't be surprised if you do have a change of heart into participating into an endeavor that you have declined beforehand, okay? So be within an open mind. It is my uh, call for you here and don't allow your stubbornness to deprive you of, um, in generally getting yourself involved into rather beneficial, uh, beneficial enterprises. Right, so that was, uh, that was for Ge for Gemini. So through those um, change of hearts, if you will, you are to be able to create a more and more options available in your uh, in your life for the next uh, three and a half weeks. So moving next, we do have a Cancer. Hello, uh, Greek woman, uh, I can't, or a man, I can't uh, pronounce your name. It's just, I don't read Greek. Greek. If my mom was here, she would have, uh, she would have read, uh, read that for me. But uh, she lived in, in Greece for like five years, okay? And she can speak Greek, she can read Greek, but I can't. Hello, Lori. Right, so for a Cancer, now the first one is going to be the Knight, the King of Swords, I'm sorry, followed by the Two of Cups, what we do have here, and then we do have a D10 of Swords. Just give me a second. Oh my. All right, so what we do have here is, first of all, we do have an active supporters from one side, these two, all right, and then we do have an active neutrals here, from the other. So those, um, so these, the next three and a half weeks are weeks where you will have to, you will need, not, not that you will have to, you can't do it without, but uh, you will need kind of like a, uh, an emotional support from those that you love and those that are loving you as well because many major moves are to be initiated and e executed from your behalf a moves that do require a huge mental strength okay and that mental oh my god <laughs> mental strength it needs to be recuperated in the best way you in you recuperate mental and spiritual strength is by being around those that loves you and that you do love as well uh what i mean here is that throughout the next three and a half weeks for you cancer uh, these are a weeks of a uh, big actions that you are going to make very very effective actions and maneuvers from your behalf that are going to make a lot of things to work for you uh, unfortunately there will be some points of no returns as well that you will have to cross here and there some decisions that you're gonna take that there is no going back from afterwards and it is like you know you will you will seek any um, the emotional and spiritual support from those that uh, uh, that you love because the question here isn't that 
am I, have I done the right choice or not? The question here is, can I keep on making the right choices and making the right decisions? Because these are going to be tough choices and tough decisions that you will, uh, and tough actions, I'm sorry, that you will have to incorporate within the next three and a half weeks. So that was about Cancer. Now moving next, we do have a Leo. Hello, Leo. No, Pisces is, or Lily, uh, Pisces is a long way from now. So let's have a look about Leo. So the first one for Leo is going to be the Five of Cups. Moving next, we do have the King of Pentacles, and then it's going to be the Emperor. Right. So. Oh my God, these, the, the, oh, that transit is so contradictive. I mean, it's seriously, because what we do have, it is, um, well, that will be a bit of a uh, strong language here, but the hell with all that I gotta do. That That's pretty much what those uh, cards are pointing. So here for the next three and a half weeks, you, Leo, now instead of sticking with uh, some sort of a, um, how can I say it? Code of conduct, I don't know, you know, or rather like a re responsibilities from your behalf. Instead, you are to redirect your efforts toward a things that you personally find productive, exhilarating, um, exhilaratable, or rather like exuberating, or I don't know how to say it, and uh, pleasant in generally for you. So uh, my point here is that within the for the next three and a half weeks, you are not going to want your time, resources and money wasted upon the responsibilities that at the end of the day are not going to bring you any satisfaction whatsoever. So instead of feeling yourself rather, you know, going, uh, losing, you know, personal time and, uh, and personal efforts as well, just to maintain something that it doesn't have any improvement and it doesn't have any um, any growth in general. Instead, you're going to start investing your time, resources, money, in uh, most likely, uh, into things that you find, you know, exciting. So that could be that you will spend for a vacation. That could be that you will spend for new clothes. That will be that you may spend for some sort of an investment. But the thing is that you are going to be with more um, wider spread fingers. That is an expression in, our, in my country and more generous towards your own uh, life. Um, as you as how you uh, maintain your standard of living additionally to that um, you will be able to overcome some senses of loss and disappointments that recently happened in your life and they will be no longer relevant for you so if you ha if you had some sort of a uh, uh, let's say a bad breakup recently or say your girlfriend or your boyfriend uh, hurt your feelings uh, that will be overcome or overwhelmed, if you will, throughout the next three and a half weeks without that overcoming and overwhelming to disrupt your ongoing flow in a sense of that, you know, you're going to overcome that feeling by not breaking your relationship in case it's a disappointment or you're going to overcome the, the breakup by not throwing yourself into a premature relationship. It is just is going to be overcoming through a natural, uh, in through a natural way. <clears throat> right. So next one uh, is going to be Virgo and then we are going to make a pull. Okay. One question is to go, is going to have an, an answer received. So, uh, Leo, at the end of the day, these three and a half weeks, it's about you spoiling yourself. Okay, so that the, this was the sentence that I was trying to search around. Thank you, Jamie. Right, so uh, Virgo now, the first one is going to be Three of Swords, followed by uh, the Four of Wands. 
and then we do have uh, the nine of wands so that is the first coherent reading that we do had from the last four okay and uh, it's pretty quick as well for you virgo i mean uh, there will be an information or something that happens throughout the next three and a half weeks that is going to come to your uh, to your attention that you ain't gonna like at all but you will not be able to do a dime about it it is just that you will have to align yourself accordingly to it now the good thing about those cards here it is that it's not going to affect you directly and this is what i am trying to say uh, say that you are working very good in a um, in a cooperation with someone at the firm that you are working at and suddenly that person gets laid off so pretty much that's not something that you would like to hear but you have to make your peace with it okay simple as that um another uh, uh another example is say your wife tells you that they don't want to go on a vacation and they will not gonna go on a vacation just for example that you want to go at so you can't change it you can't do a dime about it so you have to pretty much make your peace with it so here uh, for the next three and a half weeks you you have to expect to learn a simple truth oh my god truths okay and be a witness of a simple situations that are leaving you some sort of a, a victim of the circumstances but these circumstances are not going, going to be a, a devastating circumstances now once those circumstances are formed then things are going to calm down and you get to have the time necessary to align yourself according to the new circumstances uh, finalize the important cycle of growth that those three and a half weeks are asking from you and then move on with your life in a much let's say a faster pace than before so that was uh, for a virgo and now the pool is gonna happen so we do we are entering into a, a break and if you do want a free reading please um, input your questions uh, question one question per person here into the comments of the live stream and uh, when the question accumulates I'm going to pick one and going to conduct a, a professional reading upon. Hello Jerry, uh, they are okay, I don't want to say that they are great because you know things can always get worse or they are bad because they can always get worse no matter what you say so they are okay. Yeah so for the newcomers, uh, those who just joined the stream uh, the new classes of uh, my major arcana are starting at uh, the end of the next week so it's a, a sunday 21st of uh, july uh june i'm sorry so if you do want to participate into them you can go to my website and there under the tarot classes section um you're gonna be a, you're gonna find you know the the link to to sign up for those classes to make a purchase and then uh, i'm gonna sign you in and also the minor arcana classes are starting at the 20th of june which is the saturday next week as well so if you do want to go and start educating yourself on the, uh on, over the uh minor arcana uh, that is one way how you can do it. Also, the link is not set up yet, but uh, if you are eager to do it, to uh, sign up for those classes, you can give me a message on my uh, Facebook page and I'm going to present you with a link how you can sign up for them. Yeah, another thing it is that if you do want your uh, personal reading with me, uh, again, you can purchase it from my website. And once you place your purchase within 24 hours, I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to give you a detail how the reading is going to take place, depending on the purchase you went for. So, um, let's have a look what kind of a questions you do have. Uh, we do have, I'm sorry.
Hey, I saw one pretty important that was rolling down. I can't find the question I'm trying to. Oh, there we go. So uh, the question is submitted by uh, Heather Stevens. Uh, it's a pretty important question. So the question is, how will my health affect my future? Okay. So uh, let's have a look. Right. So just just give me a second to give you a time frame. All right. So by the end of January next year. Okay. So these are the cards. Okay. So we do have the Ten of Wands, followed by uh, the Justice. Then what we do have, it is the Prince of Cups, that is the Knight of Cups in the traditional deck. And the last one here, that is going to be the Knight of Swords, which is the King of Swords in the traditional, uh, in the traditional tarot deck. So Heather, long story short, uh, it will be tough, okay? Uh, it's, it, uh, definitely you're going to find yourself handicapped. In the in the most of the um, in the most of the challenges out there that the life presents to you, you know, or your future presents to you, uh, and uh, to be honest, having the justice into the negative position here, uh, that is uh, where what can I say? Uh, first of all, with the justice on the second position, obviously the justice. Uh, justice, law, and order are not going to be in place as the second position is the negative position in that spread. And that being uh, that being said, you may be treated unfair, you know. Uh, and under unfair, I mean, should the health issue be severe, uh, then you know you're going to be treated just like with the rest, okay? And uh, that being said, that handicaps you st straight away. But by the uh, end of January next year, uh, it does look like that you will be able to find a way, you know, how to do things, uh, diminishing the, uh, how to, to, to take advantage of your future in generally, uh, diminishing the impact or the negative impact of your health. Uh, that being said, if we're talking about career, for example, you're going to find a, a way to participate into your career or a new career in generally that your health does not or the health issue you do have does not play in any role in it. So you are going to be just as skilled uh, or as you uh, as if you have been healthy at, uh, at that point. That is just for an example here. But you can definitely be successful in your future regardless of uh, these uh, these health issues. You will just have to work more than the rest. Okay, so that's uh, that's what the card says. Definitely, what happens and what is going to happen to you, it's unfair, but life is unfair. Okay, so that was about uh, Heather's question, and um, let's have one more. Okay, let's have one more.
Oh, Charlie, Psychic told you that, that you're going to have a heart attack. Wow. Right, so uh, the next one is going to be uh, Becky Lamb. So Becky submitted a question. Uh, we're moving to Italy. Oh my God, it disappeared. We're moving to Italy, going to be good for her and her daughter. So let's have a look, Becky. Kali, um, I wanted to answer your question, but uh, unfortunately, that's beyond uh, beyond tarot because uh, tarot is not designed to have a look into specific medical or health related things. Okay, uh, Heather's questions was Heather's question was different. All right, Heather's question was: Is her health? going to negatively impact her future that is different from are you going to be able to have children because that relates to your medical condition or health condition and tarot is not designed to read for health so let's have a look at becky's uh, becky's question my lord these cards doesn't just just doesn't want to shuffle Okay, so Becky, uh, what the cards are going to show is uh, what will be the future if you go into Italy and from there you get to decide is it better or not. Right, so the first one is Seven of uh, Cups moving next. We do have the Two of Swords followed by the Star card. And then we do have the Nine of Cups. So uh, if you uh, want to go back to Italy, you got to do it right now in this very moment. Pretty much, uh, if the car if you expect the cards to take a decision for you, uh, they tell you to go there. Okay, this is their choice because uh, it seems that you're going to be quite happy in Italy. You and your daughter are going to be uh, quite happy uh, in Italy, and. Um, And yeah, that, that will happen by the end of July should you decide to go back into Italy, all right? So these cards are pretty much pointing that you will be able to situate yourself rather very quickly, okay? You, gain, you, you are going to get back and almost immediately start a job, uh, find a school for your daughter or a kindergarten or whatever, all right? And, and many of the problems that you do have right now are going to simply disappear so you are not going to face those kind of prob problems any longer and uh, yeah L Italy looks a really really good option available for you but yet that is a decision that you will have to uh, make for yourself right so a couple minutes and uh, we are going to move to the next four star signs and then another poll is going to be conducted. So if uh, your question haven't been uh, selected, don't despair. Two more pools are going to take place. Carly, man, once again, I told you, you can't answer that question with Taro because having children, breeding children, I relate to your medical condition and if you so much want to Taro can't tell you you know uh, what is the potential for you to have children but for Taro having children is very broad because you may have a child by adopting a child right so uh, this is what um, this is what the cards are going to show if we ask you know am I gonna have any children they're gonna show they're gonna show you that you do have a big potential to have a child but they may 
refer to that by adopting a child? Um, that definitely Taro can tell you, yeah. If you are meant to be happy one day. That the cards definitely can not tell you. And even more than that, they will tell you, you know, what is the best way to accomplish it. Although it's a philosophical explanation. Yeah, just like Jennifer said, next break, everyone. Uh, for now, the pool is closed. And uh, I'm going to try to run as fast as I can through the next uh, four star signs so we can get to the next pool. Okay, so. Uh, Shy, uh, your purpose is yours to find. Otherwise, there will be no purpose to live your life if you uh, know your purpose straight away because your purpose involves lessons learned you know I, I know these kind of stuff Uh, Heather, no, Rad haven't done Sagittarius yet. Sagittarius is coming in this cluster of four signs. Uh, my cup is uh, my cup is pretty full. Uh, to be honest, I just made my coffee uh, before I start the stream. Um, you also need to apply it, Kali. Understanding it is one thing, but you also have to apply it. Right, so next one, that is going to be Libra. Just give me a second, guys. What's my sign? My sign is Scorpio. Right, so uh, for Libra, we do have the King of Wands with the Ten of Swords, and then we do have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So those, uh, those three cards. And another contradictive, uh, rather, another contradictive reading, rather, because uh, these all speaks about, um, how can I say, um, Seemingly right moves, but the reasons behind and the motivation behind those moves are going to be a wrong motivation and wrong reasons. So what I am uh, trying to imply here, Libra, is that you will have to be very careful what, kind, what, what things you are doing to your family, to your career, for example, what kind of decisions in general you're taking, because uh, they may drift you pretty much apart from your harmonious well-being. So you can worsen your situation by being reckless and by being uh, by being irrational. Because throughout the next three and a half weeks, your ambition is going to speak louder than words. And when one person is ambitious, you know what happens. You know that person become um, it's it's ready to get that ambition done, uh, no matter no matter the co the cost, right? But the cost, it could be more than you actually know. So it's uh, it's very important to, whenever you are about to do something big, to hold your bread, hold your horses as well, and think of what kind of a repercussions that thing is going to have on your family, on your career, on your children, for example, or on your uh, on your parents, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Other than that, uh, should you be very active, like active in a sense of looking for a job in case you are an, um unemployed 
uh, going out partying, especially going out partying if you're looking for love, you're definitely gonna open many, uh, many options available in front of you. So at the end of the day, uh, you won't be, you know, without a, um, an offer for a job or a, a suitor for uh, empathizement in relationship. But bottom line here, it is that uh, that will disrupt, you know, your harmony into your life. But at the end of the day, I remember I had one client who said, hey, if I don't step out of my comfort, you know, there will be no improvement. So I guess that's uh, that's your way. That is what happens for you within the next three and a half weeks. And you can expect, you know, they to be rather crazy in a sense of that uh, they will demand a lot of your attention and a lot of your as well sense of emergency, if you will. So that was about uh, that was about Libra. Now let's uh, let's have a look how what Scorpio are going to endure. Right, so Scorpio, we do have the Eight of Wands for us, guys. Moving next, we do have the uh, Hermit, followed by the Devil. My. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, I don't know what to say. Seriously, it's, uh, it's all messed up. Uh, that is because... Um, Pretty much, well, I don't know how to start. <laughs> All right, guys, so Scorpio pretty much are going to be probably the most favorable one throughout, those, uh, throughout this Mercury retrograde. We get to do whatever we like and we get to get away with it as well. Now, uh, however, uh, everything that we are going to accomplish throughout these next three and a half weeks, not everything, but what is as far as Mercury retrograde is concerned, okay um through the energies of the mercury retrograde is going to be totally irrelevant for our long-term success okay uh, what i'm trying to say here it is just because for example we get to end up with that really handsome boy or a girl and, and you know we do have really good time with them probably good sex with them good dinners and good hangouts and, and, and so on and so forth doesn't mean that they're going to be our wives or husbands okay as a matter of fact is almost certain that they won't it is just is going to be a nice time that's that uh, if we make a rather a good progress in terms of our business as well, doesn't mean that this progress is going to keep on going with those enterprises, okay? So if we initiate the project and that project really takes off in a fast pace in the next three and a half weeks, doesn't mean that this project is going to keep up the pace in the long run. As a matter of fact, with those cards, it doesn't look that it will, okay? So the point here for Scorpio is that yes, we, 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 we get to be very, you know, um, very successful in the next three and a half weeks, but just as uh, it goes just as far as into the, next, into the next three and a half weeks, and after that, we have to pretty much find something else to be good at and something else to be uh, successful with, okay? So that, that whatever we accomplish is not going to be essential, it's not going to be substantial, and it will end up being a trifle after that, all right? So uh, my point here is that we are to experience a good fortune don't think that this good fortune is granted to us because it isn't and it it hurts so much when one falls from a high place does it right so um Moving next, we do have uh, Sagittarius. Thank you, Frank. Right, so for Sagittarius, we do have uh, the Knights of Pentacles. Moving next, that is going to be the, um, the Chariot. And then we do have the Eight of Pentacles. Oh my God, thank God, 
than the, the second coherent reading that we do have this evening. I don't know what is going on once again, but that Mercury retrograde is going to mess the things up so much. I mean, I, I, it's just with, within the cards. So be prepared. And I am so regretful that I haven't consulted myself with Pisces Moonbeam before I come up for uh, for that live stream because uh, usually before the live stream I do have that uh, say consultation with her so she can tell me you know what the transit is going to be all about and how, how it's going to affect the collective and so on and so forth now we did not have the time sadly and uh, pretty much I came up unprepared and I could say that just judging by those tarot readings is going to be a mess up right for the majority of the uh, of the star signs Scorpio included. Um, thank you, Anita. Thank you so much. So um, the next coherent reading is for Sagittarius. They got this one. So what happens here for you, Sagittarius, is that for one or another reason throughout these. So we, once again, we do have the Knights of Pentacles catalyzed by the Eight of Pentacles and by the Chariot card. So uh, for one or another reason within the, no the next three and a half weeks, you are going to feel yourself ready. Okay, I mean, really ready to undertake that big thing you have planned for so long time, for so much long time. If you will, you are going to feel ready to approach the person you secretly love. For example, you will feel ready to really attack that project, to attack that job. Uh, and to really get it now uh, what you are going to establish within the next three and a half weeks here it is a really a, a long-term endeavor of yours uh, that will be ex not exponentially but how can I say it? a slowly progressively improving or growing thing if you will so if that is an establishment of a relationship uh, it will grow slowly, but very, very steadily. Now, one thing I wanted to warn you about is that you should strain yourself away from a, a very sophisticated and really complex uh, maneuvers, plans, and as well, how can I say, schemes. Um, here, the beauty lies in the simplicity. So if you love somebody, for example, you know, instead of uh, trying to show it to them by doing some sort of gestures and, uh, and gifts and all these kind of stuff, bet on the sim simplicity, guys. Just tell it to them. Okay, that, that will mean more than actually gifting them flowers and vacations and, and etc, etc. Um, same thing about uh, same thing about career you know if you do want to raise be simple just ask for it and that will produce much better results than actually trying to prove yourself in unnecessary levels because probably you have proved yourself enough by now uh, but uh, the thing is that uh, yeah you are also gonna have a uh, with the eight of pentacles it's pretty clear that you're gonna have that keen eye for the details for the subtleties and everything that you are to undertake in terms of career in terms of relationship it will simply you're gonna do it with pleasure with, with with conscientiousness and that itself is going to make you be uh, a super reliable right and that's why you will be amazed how people will want to be at your boat but you're not going to need them so uh, while you can uh, you know be surrounded by a majority of circles and people these cards are advising you to do everything on your own for as much as you can because at the end of the day you will have to share the spoils of war with those that you use to help you and if you do it by yourself then no shares of the spoils of war are to uh, are to follow but yeah, I mean, if you think that you still need more time to prepare, you are dead wrong here. You are already ready, if you will, to start doing your plan or manifesting your plan to execute your strategy. Hello, Barbara. Right, so uh, thank God we had another coherent one. And now moving next, we do have Capricorn.
Um, yeah, Leslie, I believe I can. I'm doing it almost every day. I mean, because people ask for different people. For, for example, if you ask about your, your relationship, I got to be able to pick on your uh, boyfriend, right? Thank you, Heather. So, uh, Capricorn, oh my God, I smell another coherent one. Thank God. So we do have the 10 of pentacles. Um, then we do have the death. We do have the death, oh my God. Um, third one is going to be the seven of swords. <laughs> I, 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 I have a friend okay uh, we spoke last night over a thing and i actually advised that friend against it and these uh these cards here guys they are actually um telling it to uh to just shove it in my arse because it is where it belongs because uh, these cards are advising completely against my advice okay i'm just giving it as an example because what those cards are pointing it is that you capricorns for the next um three and a half weeks if you try if you are strong enough to overcome yourself of or your sense i'm sorry your sense of self-righteousness i can't say really pride but it is like a uh, you know when somebody pisses you off and they proposes you something but you know that it is good but because they have pissed you off you are ignorant to take it i don't know if that's pride how you're gonna name it okay it's, it's more like ignorance if you are able to overcome those feelings actually you're gonna make really good investments you know and that is everything that i have against my friend against i'm a car so those cards are just you know slapping me through my face and saying you know you're wrong you're wrong and uh, that, that, is, that is just the example that I can come up with. But really, I mean, the investments that you are going to do within the next three and a half weeks are or have the potency to, to truly change uh, your life in the narrative of the investments you do. You know, so if you do make an investment into your business, those investments have a potential to change your business for good. And under changing it, I mean transcending it into the next level. Same thing goes if you do invest in your family, if you do invest into your relationship, you know, if you do invest into your lifestyle as well, if you do invest into your outer looks, or for example, if you do want to attract a more handsome people although everybody is handsome in this world but i don't know how to say it you know uh, then you have to invest into your outer look and that will produce results it's pretty much whatever you invest in it produces results but uh the most um how can i say the most beneficial investments are, are those investments that you are um prone not to do it because your self-righteousness and your ego let's call it that way your ego is pretty much depriving you of doing it okay so yeah that that was about capricorn uh one more thing here capricorn um once again uh, it does look like that a person from your past may come to you okay to earn your trust once again it's just with the ten of pentacles that thing and i will try to explain it here it is because we do have the sun with the family behind and uh, that is associated with uh, you know that the sun detaches from the family grows elsewhere does his own things and at the end it goes back into the family nest so that is the return of the sun and uh, therefore somebody that you have been pretty close with back in the days may try to earn your trust once again okay but those investments that you are to do should you do them um they will also grant you some kind of a sense of, of personal liberty and independence as well right so uh that concludes the next four star signs and now we are going to make the second pool so we did not have so 
you can ask your questions once again guys and uh, I will pretty much gonna pick one of them or maybe two who knows I I have the mood today and uh, we'll conduct a professional reading on them and yeah while while questions are accumulating uh, once again the tarot class is starting at 21st of July that is the beginner's tarot class where you do start from a scratch you don't have to do anything about it uh, about tarot as a matter of fact it's advisable not to, not to know anything about tarot and um, yeah there I'm going to explain you the major arcana it's a six weeks long tarot class I'm uh, going to explain you the major arcana in terms of career, in terms of relationship, their general standpoint in a philosophical way and how they stand in the very spread I'm using here. So I'm going to teach you with this spread, which is my go-to spread almost for everything. It is a bulletproof. I can guarantee you that you cannot find it almost anywhere else. It has it only in one book that I know, and I'm not going to say what the book is. Okay. Um, yeah, and it's a universal. And uh, additionally uh, to that, the minor arcana classes are starting as well, 20th of, uh, of June. So if you do want to learn about the minor arcana and how to use them as well, the wand, the wand suit is starting at the, 20, uh, at the 20th of June, which is this Saturday that it is the next Saturday. I'm sorry, not this one, not tomorrow Saturday, but the next Saturday. So in order to sign up for either of the classes, just go to my website and under the tarot class section, uh, you can put, just purchase it and I'm going to contact you via email uh, explaining you how it's going to take place. Alright, so what do we have? Yeah, Pisces Moonbeam, Pisces Moonbeam is trying to uh, educate me over Mercury retrograding. Um, unfortunately, it's uh, a bit too late, Pisces. Thank you so much for it, but it's a bit too late. Um, Great, my mouse just gave up on me. Right, so I'm trying to find really um, emergency questions, but if there are no emergency questions, I'm just gonna pick one, you know. Right, so okay, so we do have a pretty trivial one here. Uh, Lauren Abic, a Lauren A. Abic, and it's asking, Oh my god, how me on oh my I, I would have died here, you know. Uh, how will my love life is going to unfold this summer? Any ex or a new guy? It's just my chair, uh, it's, it went into a, a sleep mode. I don't know how to say it. So let's have a look. Um, Lauren, how your love life is going to be for the next, I don't know how many months. Taro will say how big it's, uh, it's that uh, time frame for you.
Right, Lorraine, so um, give me a second to get those cards right. <laughs> Right, so we do have uh, the uh, Prince of uh, the Prince of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles here with the Four of Cups. Uh, then we do have the Six of Pentacles, and uh, after that, wow, it's going to be the Tower. I'm laughing because there isn't any more trivial situation in this world than the situation we do have for you. Just give me a second. Ah, uh, wow. Uh, just give me a second to give you a time frame for it. Come on, come on. Um, right, so the time frame is by September. All right, so Lori, um, it's neither an X. Uh, oh my God, it's neither a X nor it's a new. It's a friend. Okay, so it's a friend of yours that is. Um, Pretty much, I, I can't say that it is in love with you, but definitely has an affinity. It has an emotions toward you. And by September, uh, they are going to pretty much uncover those uh, those kind of feelings and those kind of uh, emotions. And that will be quite shocking, all right? Because that would be the lead, the last person you are to expect to uncover, um, you know, such kind of an attitude, right? And uh, you, you get to decide what you're going to do with it. Okay, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, these uh, tarot cards are advising you to to give the man a chance or the woman a chance. I don't know uh, what kind of a uh, uh, what kind of preferences you do have, but it's neither a new nor it's an old. It's somebody that is a friend of yours right now. So. Um, Um, right, so let's let's have another one then. Jennifer, um, I want to answer your question, but uh, it's uh, it's kind of like a I don't want to I don't want to be negligent over it. I don't want to say that this is a waste of time, but it, it will not matter at the end of the day if I answer it or not, because uh, this is how it works with locations. Okay, if you are meant to be successful or happy, you are going to be regardless uh, where you're going to find yourself at. Okay, so I, if you are meant to be happy, regardless if you move or not, you are still going to be happy. Okay, so um, Lanet Smith, any message, please? I love those kind of questions because they are a uh, agnet. Um, oh my God, <laughs> elemental dignities um, spread. The one that I use for the um, for the general predictions, and uh, they work. That that spread works perfectly for uh, such kind of a question. So let's have a look, Lanet. What kind of a message? we can give you or your spirit gives you through the through the tarot cards or whomever gives giving you that message because we can't guarantee at the end of the day that it is the spirit right Right, so the first one is going to be the uh, Knight of Wands, um, accompanied with the Hangman. And then we do have the Five of Wands, 
So the message for you, uh, Lanets, it's what the heck are you waiting for? Uh, that's literally the message. Because you gotta be pretty much more enterprising, you gotta be more initiative, and you have to explore your options available. If you are hoping that things are gonna happen on their own accord, that's not what happening, okay? You have to create your own circumstances, yours, your own situations, your own opportunities, which you definitely can do. And uh, also, if you are more initiative and more active as well, uh, things that you pretty much, um, how do you say it, gave up on, are going to become manifestable once again, okay? So that's, uh, that's your message. So you have to be much more dynamic than you are right now. In looking for work, for example, in looking for partner, in, in improving your personal state as well. Right, so that was, uh, that was your message. Oh, that, don't worry, Jennifer, uh, flying with an airplane is not a big deal. As a matter of fact, it is much safer than any other transport whatsoever. What country are you going to live in? Which is the country you're going to move into? Okay, guys. So that concludes the uh, the second pool. Now a couple of minutes of break for me to have a bit of a uh, inhales here, some sips of coffee, and uh, we're gonna make. Oh, you're going to Welsh or Welsh? I don't know how to pronounce it um, correctly. Well, wait, that's that's United Kingdom, isn't it? Welsh. In any case, so the next four star signs are going to take place, or the last four star signs are going to take place, and then the third pool is going to be conducted, guys. So um, if you want your question answered or a chance to get your questions picked by me, uh, stay up until the end of the stream where the last pool of uh, free reading is going to happen. Well, if you are living in America, Okay, I can only speculate with that, but it's not going to be much different, okay, uh, America and United Kingdom. Well, Wales, um, as far as I know, Wales is the better region that you can live in, uh, far better than the core England. Uh, that, that is just my impression, okay, because I have been in England, to be honest, more times than I would like to. But Wales is a much, uh, it's better than, than the core England, for what I heard, it's better than living in Scotland as well. Uh, for foreigner, I mean, okay, and into a North uh, North Ireland as well. Uh, that is for foreigner. I don't know the uh, the um, uh, people which are uh, which are having roots there. It may not matter, but it is just what I what I know. Jade, there is no such thing as being stubborn. It's just people don't care. Okay, that's why they are stubborn. They, they, they just don't care. But what does it mean somebody is stubborn? Right? It means that they don't want to make a compromise. Meaning that they don't care if you're going to leave them or not 
should they not make a compromise, right? I mean, th this is how I'm explaining it to myself. You're from Delphi? I have been in Greece several times. Um, I don't think that I have, uh, that I went through Delphi, although once um, we pretty much traveled through the old part to uh, Athena, um, because that, that is how the Greek uh, capital is pronounced, I think, in the native Athena, right? Not, At not Athens, it's Athena. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we went through the old, uh, through the old path that goes through. Um, it doesn't goes. It doesn't go through Larissa. It goes through. Oh my God, Tiva. So I do believe that we went through the through Delphi, but I'm not exactly certain. Okay. Yeah, that's how it's called. Athena. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, the, the Delphi Temple, that, that was the Oracle of Delphi that could have foreseen the future, right? I mean, they did that famous Oracle. So, yeah, the, pretty much the, that Oracle was conveying the message of the gods, or whatever the Zeus said, that, that's pretty much what the Oracle said as well. Uh, but in any case... Let's move to the last four star signs and then let's uh, conduct the last four. So what we do have for Aquarius. Now, the first one is going to be Tree of Pentacles. That's very, my God, uh, I would have said very promising here. We do have the Eight of Swords as a catalyst and then it is going to be the Five of Cups. Okay, so those three cards. So we talked about stubbornness here and that is exactly what is going to be shattered for you and I mean for you Aquarius so pretty much uh, throughout the next three and a half weeks you will have to endure a lot of crap and, and under crap I mean anybody is gonna mind your business anybody everybody is gonna try to tell you what to do and how you can do it better right and uh, truth be told anybody is gonna be right so yeah what, what your mother for example tells you uh, she has a point uh, whatever your boss tells you, he has a point. Whatever your wife or a, a husband or a girlfriend or a boyfriend tells you, they have a point as well. So you got to listen, okay? Because uh, what happens in the next three and a half weeks, whether you like it or not, uh, you will have to let go of some limitations that you have imposed to yourself through your stubbornness. I mean... Again, with with like Capricorn, you know that what you are stating and what you are asking and, and how you go by in general with certain stuff of your life is um, is either inefficient or is simply wrong. And you will have to admit it this uh, these three and a half weeks. 
Now that itself, because the Three of Pentacles, especially next to the Five of Cups, it's a very productive card. Alistair Crowley, it's pretty much describing it as an ocean of opportunities should you open your mind for it. And you have to be able to kind of take on the criticism and use it constructively. Now, should you do so? Um, those people who are criticizing you are going to support you through your development. And not just only that, but they will also going to help you with your own personal stuff. And the things that you have found disappointing back in the days, uh, they will no longer be kind of relevant. So these disappointments are to be how can I say, just temporary disappointments, okay? Not permanent ones. And whatever failures you have experienced, uh, they will also going to be rather uh, retrievable, if you will, where you can pretty much kind of resuscitate, you know, the situation with the help of those people who are criticizing you uh, throughout the next uh, three and a half weeks. So what you need to do, Aquarius, for the next three and a half weeks is simply listen to those that wishes you the best guys sometimes they're they are a little bit rough but they do have the point okay so uh moving next we do have pisces Right, so uh, we do have the Three of Wands for Pisces with the Six of Cups. And then it's going to be the Four of Wands. Oh my God. So that's a, that's a trivia one as well. Next three weeks are the weeks where uh, you will pretty much have to abandon uh, the cozy ways of which you are doing things around. And you have actually need to put some efforts. Okay, you gotta put some efforts of making your partner happy. You gotta put some efforts of uh, establishing a good patterns in terms of your career and in terms of the positions that you are working at. Now, should you put efforts, uh, things are definitely gonna take off for you because the next three and a half weeks are a, a weeks that you grow. Okay, in terms of personal life, in terms of career, in terms of relationship as well. But that growth is not going to happen by itself and you, you pretty much achieve it by your own personal means. So in other words, you have to challenge yourself, you need to challenge your limits, you need to challenge your skills, your knowledge, your look, if you will. And um, how can I say it? Your, uh, what the hell, just give me a second, somebody... Right, so, uh, yeah, you got to pretty much challenge uh, your outer limits. So you got to expand your limits. That being said, uh, undertake some kind of a challenging projects, you know, do things that under normal circumstances you would find them difficult to do as well, or rather, yeah, again, challenging to do. I, I can't find another word here, but should you uh, should you aim higher, than usual, then uh, your expectations are going to be completely met. At the end of the day, you're going to have things exactly the way you want to have them. Okay. And you are to uh, establish for yourself really, really good patterns moving forward. But unfortunately, Pisces, you will have to get your hands dirty this time around. Okay. So once again, things are not going to happen on their own accord. However, uh, uh, these, uh, this period, it is a period where you do make a significant progress in a sense of that you are going to have a very important cycles of development finalized. So moving next, we do have Aries.
Well then, Jennifer, your boyfriend is going to have really growthful uh, period, which is from now um, 18th, from 18th of June to 12th of July, which is three and a half weeks. Right, so... Um, just give me a second. Aries. Now the first one is going to be the High Priestess followed by the Nine of Swords here. And then we do have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Uh, that will be a fast one because for you, um, Aries, you will find peace. Okay. You will find peace in whatever you are doing, guys. Um, whatever concerns you do have. Whatever anxieties you are experiencing, uh, just to give you an example, say you're Aries and you have to move. Just, that is just because, you know, I have the example here from Jennifer about her moving into a new country and that stresses you out. Well, the next, uh, that cycle is going or that transit is going to bring you peace. Okay, you're not going to be stressed about those uh, things any longer. Uh, the thing here with those cards for you, Aries, it is that uh, you're going to perform an establishment or rather like you are to um, develop your, uh, your environment, your career or your relationship in a such a way that will be a long lasting thing, okay? Should you keep up with it or not, that is entirely your decision, but uh, you are going to uh, accomplish a balance. Balance in the sense of that you are gonna be pleased with how much you get from your job, from your relationship, and from your life in general, in in according to how much you invest in it as well. So you're not gonna feel yourself deprived, bereft, and as well, how can I say, played around, if you will. But yeah, we do have a piece for Aries. It's like emotional, spiritual, and above everything else, a piece of soul okay so your soul is gonna find peace and solace and if you maintain it that way I mean it could be really really nice year for you Aries and last but not least we do have Taurus So the first one for Taurus is going to be the Six of Pentacles, moving with the Two of Cups. Oh, wow. Then we do have the Four of uh, Pentacles. So if we go completely general with that, or rather, <coughs> I'm sorry, or rather trivial, we can say long-lasting relationship is to be established, okay? So if you are really looking for love, your eyes need to be like a on for, that is an expression in my... Um, in my country, like having four eyes, two up front and two on your back, so you don't miss that opportunity. But seriously, the two of cups, you know, usually is associated with uh, kind of like ongoing relationship. But in case you do not have a relationship, that card points the, of an appearance of a person with potential of a relationship. However, uh, there the um, the shyness and the pride can really damage that situation around. So it's a it's a, an interaction where the pride and the shyness needs to be placed on the shelf. Now the good thing is that the two of cups falls next. It's a catalyst to the six of pentacles. And six of pentacles it is the little brother of the hierophant. What I mean is that that is how the hierarchy works. Okay, that is your current. So the current or the result of your past actions leads you to this uh, to this situation where you're going to find say a love or a harmony into relationships because if that is applied to career it means that you are going to have harmony into your business relationships like with your co-workers like with your boss you know like with the people that you are working with and then as we do have the four of pentacles as another catalyst now that kind of a thing this thing can be maintained for a lifetime what i mean is that with the four of pentacles here whatever the establishment of um harmony is in terms of love or in terms of relationship in general can be ensured in a secure 
future should you maintain it and guard it as well it is like you have to once you establish it you need to adopt a defensive measure in regards to it so um right that was about taurus now um the third pool is going to be conducted guys so uh you can place your questions into the comments and uh, as soon as they accumulate i will just pick a question and conduct once again a uh, professional reading on it Hello, Lisa. What do you mean under hobby? It's like a dog. Oh, husband. Let me get these cards off because we are not going to need them any longer. So yeah guys, for the last time to annoy you, and I do apologize about that, but it's kind of necessary that uh, the title class is starting at uh, June 20, uh, 21st, which is uh, next Sunday. Okay, that are the beginner title classes. Um, and uh, in them, I'm gonna teach you how to read uh, Major Arcana and how to conduct your own readings with the Major Arcana and how to read those Major Arcana in terms of career and in terms of relationship as well. So hopefully at the end of the day, no question is going to catch you off guard and also how to read them in the dedicated spread that it is a major arcana friendly as well six weeks long eight hour class with a lecture every week with a duration of a two hours a lecture and at the end you get to own the lecture as well so i'm going to send you a link where you can download the video of the lecture itself so you get to keep it for as long as you like <clears throat> And also the minor arcana classes are going to start at 20th. So those who um, are eager to keep on their um, education, I, I can't even say it, education, let's say training, uh, they're welcome to join for the, uh, for the minor class. And anybody who is interested really uh, at the minor classes um, lection, uh, lectures as well. So let's, uh, let's have a look. Angel, uh, I, I am so sorry about your child, but even if I could have given an answer to it, I would prefer not to make it, not to, not to give an answer, because it's not going to bring any closure, and I will tell you why. Whatever I say, it's still going to keep the question why okay so that's that's the most important question not how but why that happened okay that that will give an answer to everything and unfortunately we can't answer why well it's it's a really sensitive uh sensitive question okay and um i i'm, I'm really sorry about that so we had one submitted by jennifer asking will my next months are going to be okay or how will my next months gonna go so that's jennifer swift that submitted the question because again i explained it uh, death is uh, it's a medical condition okay that that's related to 
a seizing of body functions so it's a it's a medical thing and tarot is not designed to uh, read health Right, so about uh, um, Jennifer's uh, next uh, few months, we do have the Prince of Cups here with the first one, followed by the Five of Pentacles, and that's not a really great card here. And then we do have the Four of Wands, okay? And then we do have the Hermit. So let me give you a time frame, Jennifer. So the, uh, let's start with the bad news first, okay? The bad news is that you are going to feel yourself there very insecure and it is like, you know, you are always at the back seat, like you are always trying to catch up. That is for the duration of the reading, okay? Not for a lifetime. So just let me tell you how, uh, what is the time frame of this reading? The time frame of the reading is the end of November, okay? So from now up until the end of November in Wales is going to be rather difficult to fit in. So that will be the main issue for you. And uh, when you clash with their system, you may find here and there, well, there are gonna be a lot of problems, but there are going to be small problems like trifles, okay? That definitely can be resolved. Now on the plus side, however, uh, Wells uh, is going to be like your home uh, for, uh, how can I say, in a sense of that as you go there, you're going to get the hang of it very, very quickly. And uh, there you are going to establish really a, a substantial way of living. Uh, it's possible that there you're going to find your future husband, your future big job as well, etc., etc. The thing is, is that in, in the place that you're going at, which is Wells, you can find everything you need to make your life worth its while okay or to make your life substantial and you are going to find it there okay so that th this is just the very initial stage of moving that is the same for everybody really you will have to uh you will have to endure now one thing it's very important here for you jennifer going into wells it is that <clears throat> you do not settle for the average okay you only need to settle for the things you like and things you love so that is uh, that is the uh, the answer to your question hopefully you enjoyed it and let's have another one before i go to sleep So we do have one from Charlie Pagan. Will, uh, am I going to get any female? I do. Uh, that's a little bit on the funny side because uh, I do suspect that is about a relationship. So probably, I don't know. I take the question. It is like, am I going to have a relationship anytime soon? So let's have a look, Charlie. Whatever that's supposed to mean, getting any female.
Right, so the first one is going to be the Queen of Wands, uh, followed by uh, the Hangman here. Uh, then we do have the World, and the last one is going to be the Nine of Wands. Okay, so uh, the question is, uh, the answer is yes, you are going to, but uh, you got to put the efforts into connecting with those, uh, with those females. Okay, and I said females, so you're going to have more than one to choose from. Uh, and the time frame for you is by the end of January next year, okay? So, but because we do have the hangman on the second position here, that pretty much means that you're not doing nearly enough to get those females, whatever those females means. Uh, and uh, throughout, uh, throughout this cycle, from now up until the end of, uh, the end of January next year, uh, you have that real knack of, of, uh, of sense, if you will, you know, how to mesmerize um, any, of, uh, any of women that you, do, uh, that you do like to have. As you mentioned, that are you going to have any, any females? Uh, the, the only thing here that we do have, it is that those are not going to be old females, okay? They are going to be new ones that you don't already have. No, so these are going to be brand new interactions, meetups, and um, how can I say, presentations, if you will. So they, they are going to be a brand new females that you do not know for the time that we are speaking right now. So that being said, that was uh, the answer to your question, and that will conclude. Uh, that will conclude the stream. Thank you so much uh, that. Um, you have uh, participating into it guys thank you so much for watching and uh, once again if you are interested in a private reading you can purchase one from my website which is uh, listed here into the post and once you make your purchase i will come back to you within 24 hours uh, to give you a uh, details how your reading is going to take place as well uh, don't forget that the classes are starting the new classes are starting these are the beginner star classes where you uh, where we're going to start learning the tarot cards from scratch so you don't have to uh, so you don't have to know anything about them uh, as a matter of fact it's quite advisable not to know anything about them and um, yeah it's a, it's a beginner star class i will explain you the major arcana how to interpret them in terms of career in terms of relationship as well uh, and into the uh, positions in the dedicated spread that i'm using which is a major arcana friendly so at the end of this class Although it is just the major arcana, you are still set to do your own uh, personal and hopefully as well private readings. Six weeks long class uh, with a lecture every week. And at 20th of uh, June, which is the Saturday, the next Saturday, the minor arcana classes are starting as well. Uh, the suite of, la of wands is starting. So one thing here I saw about the price. Yeah, it's a $75, okay, the minor arcana. It's a three sessions or three lectures a course but it's only on the suites of ones okay we do have a four suites so the four suites cumulatively they will cost they will cost 75 by four uh, that is pretty much 300 dollars okay but uh, they are as well a, a 12 lectures okay they are not six but a 12 lectures long and uh, I have broke them down to suits so it can become more bearable for you to uh, to purchase them as well. And you may not want to participate into the suite of cups, for example, because you may think that you know all of it. That's that's completely fine. Uh, uh, Jasmine, Jasmine uh, it's not, but you can sign up by messaging me and I will give you the, uh, the link of uh, purchase. It will be up for signing uh, at Monday. Okay, right now it's not officially up because I'm waiting for something else to get done so I can get them up together. Okay, that's, uh, that's why. Yeah, but send the, the page. Thank you, Frank. You are always so subordinate. Thank you so much. Uh, send me the message on the page and uh, we are going to sort you out. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. We're going to see each other next time, which is going to be probably Monday or Tuesday. We're going we're gonna to see. And uh, yeah, until then, bye.